Apac Tars and JT, and uh, we gonna get right into it, man. Um, I just got done uh, watching a radio show of um, this fat, slimy, filthy Ron Jeremy-looking motherfucker, Billy C. I just got done watching a radio show, man, and it was the most biased, prejudiced, like the most extreme form of pactardism, deranged, delusional, dehydrated pactardism I've ever seen. I mean, the, the I mean, the thing is this, man. I mean, the amount of excuses this guy he came up with literally everything in the book. Every excuse in the book. The guy was saying shit to the to the notion of um, Pacquiao doesn't have the best trainer. Um, his trainer is one dimensional. Pacquiao has all these distractions. All these people surrounding him. Uh, the judges, the ref, Floyd. Tying up Floyd running. I'm just like, man, dude, I thought I thought Manny was the fighter of the decade, man. You know, I, I thought Manny was you know, I thought Floyd was the coward, the chicken, the runner, and you know, it's just I just find it funny, man, that the amount of Pacquiao fans that are coming out and actually picking Floyd to win. And and saying Floyd's gonna win because he's gonna tie Manny up and this and that. First of all, Manny Pacquiao is not an inside fighter, so I don't expect that much clinching to go on. Because the fact of the matter is, Manny Pacquiao doesn't fight on the inside. He doesn't fight dirty. He's not Mike Donna. So that Ron Jeremy sludge, hairy-looking motherfucker, Billy C. I mean, he was basically comparing Marcos Maidana to Manny Pacquiao, saying, "Oh." When Marcos Mike Donna can get to Floyd, Manny can, but see, again, Mike Donna has that size advantage, he's a very dirty fighter, and he does all his work on the inside, and that's like the completely opposite, complete opposite of Manny Pacquiao, so I mean, it, the bottom line is, man, why are you guys coming up with excuses, man, you guys bitch, same with Thunderdome, man, that. Pee Wee Herman, fake Eminem, trailer park looking motherfucker, man. He he does the same thing. It's like you complain for how long about this fight and the fact that Floyd is scared. And now that you're getting it, you're coming up with a bunch of excuses, man, of why Manny is going to lose. Ride with the guy to the end. I mean, just ride with him to the end. If he wins, if Manny wins, you won't hear nothing from me. You're going to just hear me giving him props and he won the fight. Because I'm predicting a knockout. I think Floyd is going to really punish this guy and really brutalize him and knock him out. You know? So, um, that's how I see it going. If Manny wins, I'll give him his props, man. He'll be the, I, I'll admit that he, he's been the better fighter all along. And um, uh, maybe he had a lot of truth to what he was saying. But, uh, see, that's the thing, man. I'm a boxing fan. You know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather doesn't run boxing. He's the biggest star in boxing, but he doesn't run it. I mean, after he's gone, boxing will still go on, and I'm still going to continue watching it. You know what I mean? But see, you Manny Pacquiao fans, they're going to be gone come May 2nd and May 3rd. They're going to be gone because that's all they know is Manny Pacquiao. You know? I'm just saying, stick with your guy, man. You know, you you guys have been running around, you know, with all these comments, these internet comments and um, prejudice, racist banner for six years. So just continue it, man. Continue it to the end, and, and may, the best, may the best man win. Pacquiao wins, I'll give him his credit. I talk to other shit about Pacquiao. I will sit here and I'll take it like a man. I'll take my crow like a man. You know, because uh, I've made countless videos exposing Manny Pacquiao and saying that uh, Manny Pacquiao, he can't, he can't even 
he can't even hold Floyd's spit bucket, man. That's I don't feel that these two are in the same class. And um I see a annihilation may take it, man. Um I mean they know I mean it just shows, man. These Pacquiao fans, these Pac Tars, they know what's about to happen, man. They know that the chances of Manny Pacquiao winning this fight are slim to none, man. Because you got to think about it. Manny Pacquiao hasn't knocked anyone out in about six years, six or so years. Last person was Cotto, right? 2009. So, I mean, you got to think about that. I mean, he's had, he's had punchy bags in front of him and he didn't get the stoppage. You know, um, he didn't stop Rios. He didn't stop Bradley. He came close to stopping Algeria. He hurt him one time really good. But Algeria still went the distance. So it's a tough road ahead, man. I mean, you just got to think about it. You got to think of who's been the most consistent of the two, man. You know, who's, who's the more consistent guy? And I think that's Floyd. We never really see Floyd get hit with shots consistently, he might get one or two in, but you're not going to consistently hit Floyd with the same punch over and over again, and I can't say the same thing about Manny, so, it is what it is, man, you guys can keep listening to these fake boxing fans like Billy C and Thunderdome, I mean, these guys are just biased, prejudiced people, man, I mean, I mean, damn, I don't like Manny Pacquiao, I mean, that's, I admit that, okay? But I don't have anything against Filipino people, you know? You see it's a consistency with these type of people. They constantly have negative things to say about the same type of people, whether it's Al Heyman, whether it's Floyd Mayweather, whether it's uh, Adrian Broner, whether it's, it's... It's a consistent pattern. Lamont Peterson, you know, it's just consistency with these people. Whereas, I'm a boxing fan, I don't care about race, I don't care about anything like that. You know, I don't care about how you look, I just care about, I don't care about what you're doing outside the ring. It's all about boxing with me, and I care about um, entering performance, man. No one is perfect, man, but the, these guys go to the extreme with the criticism of the same type of people that Dante likes to call it, the coincidentalists. And, and that's the way it, it's true. I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible, man, what, what this shit has come to, man. But hopefully it'll be over May 2nd. Um, yeah, man. Fuck you, Pactars, man. I mean, I, I, I just hope that this shit is all over May 2nd. And um, we can have our sport back. So, yeah, it's your boy JT. I'm out.